Well, uh, I want to just pose a question and invite some short responses to it, okay? Um, you might remember in the reading that we sent out this week that it mentioned um, Tocqueville's democracy in America sort of as a starting point that we're sort of looking back to. And my question for you um, is that if we are looking back to what Tocqueville saw when he was analyzing democracy in America back in the early 1800s, um, who was left out of that picture? Yeah, thank you. Who else was left out of democracy in America in the early 1800s? Indigenous. Anyone that didn't own property. People of color. Landless. Pretty much anyone except white landowning. Yeah, exactly. Just get cut to the chase there, huh? start tonight, um, because I think we have to acknowledge that um, first, whenever we're going to talk about um, looking at history. Um, but what I want to do tonight, um, as our spiritual grounding, is kind of think about this, like think about who was left out then, but also let's jump forward today, and um, I think in some ways we've done better, right? There's some other voices that um, are at the table. Those have maybe a little bit more voice. Um, but particularly, um, those that don't have voices, at least human voices, are still quite left out. And that's what um, a lot of what we were thinking about last week, right, with um, the Earth crisis. Um, so what I want to do tonight is invite these beings, these voiceless beings, into our circle, into our gathering. And I want to invite you right now to enter, um, like we've done in the past, a space of meditation. So sort of get settled. I know people are kind of moving about still and it's a little bit distracting. There's noise. But try to just get comfortable, feet on the ground, eyes closed if you need it. And just try to sink into an awareness of the place we live in. Try to, in your mind, break down the architecture that's around us, that's separating us from this space, <coughs> from the air outside. And open yourself to hear the voice of the voiceless beings that inhabit this region with us. And so perhaps you've had an encounter with maybe a Stellar's Jay, a fern, a salmonberry, or a crow who should be invited into our space. Perhaps you've crossed paths in your life with a raccoon, or you share trees with a squirrel. And I would ask you to reflect on what they would have to say to us, what they would have to say in our circle. In what ways has your lifestyle contributed to their poor health? In what ways are you acting as their allies? What do you have to learn from Sister Fur or Cousin Al? And so we're going to take this next um, 
couple of minutes to just meditate and invite them into our space and open our being to their being. I invite you to come back into this room. Feel your breath as you breathe the air that we're all breathing right now. And keep in your perception that species 
if it came into your mind that being the voice we don't usually listen to. And I want to use this space right now um, to invite anyone who would like to to stand up and welcome um, into our circle any creature or being that might have come to you during the meditation. So I'll begin. Um, my name is Dave, and I welcome Sister Raven into our circle tonight. My name is Michael, and I want to bring into our circle the West Coast starfish, many of whom it's already too late for them to join us. Yeah. My name is Lovely, and I also welcome the starfish. Mm. <laughs> My name is Eric, and I welcome the whales, especially the beluga whale that I saw in the Vancouver Aquarium 30 years ago. Mm. <laughs> My name is Lee. I'd like to welcome back into this area the coyote. Mm -hmm. My name is Matt, and I want to welcome my grandfather, Bear. My name is Toby. I want to welcome an animal that would not like the coyote but I saw my first skunk in St. John's a couple of weeks back, so I want to welcome skunks. Huh? My name is Dorothy, and I want to welcome in the much maligned slug. Maligned by me. I'm Shirley, and I want to welcome the beaver. Chris and I welcome the honeybees, the ones in my backyard, but bees everywhere whose existence is compromised, which compromises everything. Yeah. My name is Alice. The animal I want to welcome, I would like to unwelcome from my own yard. <laughs> Somebody's a beaver, so we better welcome the ducks, too. <laughs> 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 all right, well, thank you all for participating, and um, thanks to Solve for welcoming into our circle uh, these beings who often are left out as we gather and as we talk about present and future.